Hello, welcome to another episode of Pay Streak TV. I'm your prospector, Chris. <laughs> you know, it's been raining. And our culvert hole's all filled up again. So I'm kind of happy. Kind of happy about that. Real quick, before we go down there and set up the prospect on the river, we're going to do this real quick, just because. That's a nice sitting spot. Look at this. Alright, I'm going to need two hands for a minute. for Corey out there that wants to know if he's panning right, do it like this. And shake a lot. If you shake a lot, you probably won't lose your gold. And if you do, it's too small. You don't want that gold. Somebody else can waste the time trying to get that. We want big stuff. There's a little black sand in there. Oh no, that might be a piece of gold. Yeah, that's a piece. <laughs> By golly. Right there under my green light. Awesome. Alright. That was a successful start over there in that culvert hole. We found another little flake trying to escape. It was a real small one, but we uh, scooped it up. It was big enough to do that with at least clouding up a little bit. Um, since the sun's not beating down today, I'm thinking we're going to go in here to Gary's glory hole and dig in here. Now that the tree is gone, it might be a little bit easier to get down in there and get at stuff. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Hopefully it turns out well. So far it's starting good. Alright, well, for those of you that are fairly new to the show, I'm going to show you what all's involved with it. Plank and snail. This right here is corrugated downspout adapter. You can buy a Lowe's it's like eight bucks. It's the accordion style. You know, you pull it out to expand it, and that's all it is. I cut off the top. I left the end kind of around there because it's nice to have something to lay rocks on or you know maneuver however you want to maneuver. You know, I'll stick a rubber band on there once in a while just to hold it in place, but I got it strapped to a piece of 80-20 aluminum with a couple nuts and bolts. You know, the 80-20 is nice because you can slide the stuff back and forth, but you don't even need to do that. You can put it on a furring strip, you know, with a, with a nut and a bolt or, you know, whatever. In the end here, I got just a small piece of aluminum here that I used to stiffen up the end. You know, I put pop rivets through it, but just like I said, you can use like nuts and bolts or you know, brads or staples or you know whatever you got. Doesn't take much to make a stiffener. The legs, I work in a metal shop so we welded these up, but it's just a simple, you know, two legs and a cross member right there. I'm gonna guess they're about two foot long, maybe. You know, we put holes in the top of this and just poke those through and it kind of wedges itself on there and it holds it up real nice. Uh, the pump is just a regular old five gallon or 500 gallon per hour build pump you can get at Walmart for like 15 bucks. The battery, just a lawn and tractor battery. That's all it is, 12 volt. Uh, with the rebate, I got this for less than $20. All together, you're looking at about 40 bucks. If you shop around, I bet you can get it all cheaper. But yeah, that's it. That's all I do. 
Uh, set it in the ground. If I got to go deep, then I can prop up the other end with some rocks. And, you know, you pretty much put it wherever you want. If you, you can dig a hole and get a supply of water to it, you're good. You know, this thing takes current out of the equation. I'm sitting in a pool right now, off to the side, away from all the craziness of that current over there. You know, you can adjust this thing. Uh oh. The heck? Now well, my nuts are coming loose. That'll be enough of that. Thought my life was ending. <laughs> Everything just stopped. What the heck? All right, we're back in business. All right, well, we're almost finished. Making short work of this. Short work of this five gallon bucket. We took it out of Gary's glory hole over there. Hope he doesn't get mad. Nah, he's alright. He ain't gonna get mad. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier. The rubber bands I have here holding my hose in place. I got a plastic washer underneath there where my bolt goes through at the top of the plank of the snail. Where it holds it to the to my plank here and that's all I did with that you know tightened that down on top of that rubber band you know I, I looped it around there twice and it worked very well you know my little container there is just a little uh, it's not a rubber made container but yeah, it's like a one gallon container or whatever just let my hose run to the side and wires out there and I throw a rock in there and we're done as long as you got enough water to fill that sucker you're good if you don't, you can always dig a hole. That's, I've had to do that on occasion. Very versatile. All right, welcome back to Pastry TV. We just finished running that five gallon bucket. And we got a whole bunch of black sand. Just like always. All right, we are in the process of panning down our heavies. We're about halfway through. There's a piece right there trying to escape. That's a big one. And it's just stuck to the side of my pan right now. There we go. Shake that, shake that sucker back down. Yeah, they'll they'll try to get out. They want to get back in the freaking river. They're like fish. Well, see, there's one poking out there. That's probably that same one I just got back in, but. Now you get the gist of it. When you get to this point, you, you still gotta look. You still gotta use your eyes. You gotta know that familiar glimmer that only gold has. You know, sometimes they say quality, not quantity. Yeah, you know, with gold they might be right. Biggins! Right there. I knew a guy named Biggins once, but those are Biggins. So I don't even know how many we got. We got a few, a couple out of that culvert hole. We got a bunch here. We're out of time. We're going to scoop them up and we'll just go back to the gold room. Ah, winning. Absolute success. Gary's glory hole is still producing. Huh. Wow, those are big ones. One of those could be a picker. I don't know. It's close. All right, we'll be back. All right, welcome back to the gold room on Pay Street TV. We can actually start calling this a gold room. Look at all that gold. Holy cow. That's freaking awesome. We found two of those in the culvert hole, and all the rest we got in Gary's glory hole, named after him because he's the one that dug it so deep. By golly. They're pretty when they're that big. Look like fireworks. I'm just tickled to death. Yes, sir. That was two hours worth of work. Five gallons of material. Wow, some of those are really big. Alright, 
we're going to go out on a high note. Thanks for watching. Join us for another episode of Pay Street TV. I'm Chris. See ya. Cold guarding dog. You better start guarding. Got a lot of stuff going on here.